So we warm up, guys. Don't need to start smashing them out there. In fact, you know, you've got this little plateau here. This is good. Let's just kind of, I'm going to run these to the end of that plateau before they fall off the cliff. But I want you guys to be aware of the feels of this. We have a stick with a weight on the end of it. And as I move this, it takes a little bit of work to move it. I could move it with, you know, strong man hands, or I could start to feel pressure at my feet and the rhythm of how my weights to my left foot, so I can sling it a little to my right. And as I change its direction, guys, I can feel pressure build up in my hands. It goes back to my left. So one of the little stories I'll say is I'll, I'll grab like a, here's a stone. So Big Al, come on over here for a sec. You can set your stronger club down for a sec. Stand right here, right foot, left foot with some flare, please. Okay, good. So as I put this in your left hand, you get a good grip on it, great. Put your right hand on there. Awesome. So there's the pad of his right index finger. So soften up a little bit for me because I'll show you why. I'm going to put this little stone right there. Now, if you grip it really tight, that's going to hurt. Agreed? Mm -hmm. So don't. Don't hurt yourself. Just okay. gently hold that stone there. Okay. okay, perfect. So that's a great pair of hands. Now, in a backswing, so I'm going to block the club head a bit. Go ahead and make a backswing. Okay, so do it again. Why can't he make a backswing right now, guys? Go ahead and make a backswing. Why can't he? Yeah, but that's only because he's trying to do it a certain way. If he was relaxed, the club would just glide past me. His wrist would be soft, the club would just glide past me. It only, the only reason he couldn't make a backswing is because he's moving the club with his hands. Okay, so I put that there and he goes, well, I can't, you're in the way, Marty. Okay, well, yeah, I am if you're just trying to use man hands to move a club head. But if we're a little relaxed, guys, the wrists are just going to buckle a little. This is going to create a little rhythm that's going to want to keep on going. But now what's going to happen? When you change direction to bump a golf ball that way, you're going to feel some pressure build up on that stone, aren't you? Mm -hmm. There's the whip that you need to learn and most people need to learn how to warm up with. Is this making sense to you guys or are you lost? How are you feeling right now, Sean? Does this make any sense? I think so. I mean, lo looser hands, looser grip. Okay, so let me, you come on over. Let me grab my stone though. Perfect. Uh, you can take that. Come on over, bud. So it's, you know, looser, loose, loose to a point. Okay, put your good hands on there. Set up to that golf ball for me. Toes equidistant to that yellow stick. Lovely. So I take my little piece of stone here, okay? And this is great. I should get more of these pokey stones. I'll tell you why. Because I don't want you to hurt yourself. Yet I, yet I want you to be able to not drop that stone. So see how there's... When you held this, this is kind of a, cor a piece of coral or something, yeah. right? So you got that, does it hurt? No. No, it shouldn't, okay? These fingers gently on, this thumb relax and just chill over here. Yeah. Give me a bit of arm structure here, wonderful. So now you know I'm in the way, okay? How can the club make a backswing, yeah. right? So the wrists, so the hands aren't the source of motion, guys, okay? They're not, it's not like it starts just me going, snatching the club back with hands. It's more of a rhythmic event where right now, give me some structure in that arm, which is basically straighten it. Okay, so I'm not gonna stand there like that. Give that one, use your tricep, right? Straighten your arm. Let's get this left heel pad on top of that grip, good. This one can be softer. Remember, this is our Hulk arm, our green one. This is our Bill Bixby arm, okay? Now do me a favor here, Sean. Mimic what I'm doing with, what I, with my feet. Good, perfect. That's me in a readying position to hit a shot. Good players kind of settle in, do these little micro adjustments to make sure they like where their toe line and their weight pressure feels good. Now, as you're on this side for the last time, doesn't that do, keep doing it. Okay. While you're on that side for the last time, it gives you an opportunity to kind of have energy to make a backswing that isn't just hands. Does that make sense? Are you starting to see what's going on here, guys? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let me demonstrate one for a second. May I? And I'll take the stone. You be the coach right here. So take your left foot and set it right there. Cool. So if I have this stone and I pin it against this grip, I could obviously squeeze this and create some discomfort in there, but I'm not going to. 
Now, if, I, if you leave your foot there, I'm not going to hit your foot and I'm not going to hit a shot. But if I try to make a backswing, you could say, oh, there's a problem there. I can't take, make a backswing. Your foot's in the way. But the reality is, guys, I can make a backswing all day because my hands are really just kind of a nice leather-bound thing to this end of this grip. They're not trying to snatch a club away. They're not trying to roll something away, Yaro. You get my point? Yeah. So as I settle in here and you look at my feet, the pressure of my feet looking to hit a shot here, a backswing, I'm on my left side for the last time, a little pressure into my right, not a glidey thing over here, JP. You know, the chair could be butted up against my right leg, and there's my pivot. You starting to see what's happening here, guys? Now, why is the stone there? Because when I change direction, that stone's in a place where it's not going to fall out. It's gently held between my grip and my index finger. But when I change direction, what do I feel? <clears throat> I feel the club put pressure on that stone. I'm not putting pressure in the stone. The club's putting pressure into my hands. See the different way of looking at it, guys? I could put pressure into the stone, or I could let the club put pressure into the stone. And my pivot's delivering that as it's starting to flee away. Seeing a little different picture here? So as I tap one down there, you know, that would actually hurt, but I mean, it's a good kind of pain because you're learning, you know, that stone's in there. Tap, tap, waggle, waggle. I can feel the stone gently there. When I change direction, I, the club's gonna push the stone a bit more into my finger. And there's a little strike. Now, why is that a big deal, guys? Because you're learning how to load something rather than just huck it somewhere and throw it somewhere. Okay, so as we warm up, guys, let's be mindful of that. To take a club and, you know, 7 iron, 8 iron, 9 iron, whatever you want to load. And if I could find a bunch of little stones, I'll grab them. This is perfect. Tour striker stone. Sell it to you guys. Tap, tap, take a look, right? Logo it. So there's no pressure on that stone right now. And there's, I could put the stone under my thumbprint too. There's no pressure anywhere, right? It's just the only pressure, guys, really is the last three fingers of my left hand. And for those of you who interlock, or you know what I mean, this finger likes to kind of dilly dally over here. I swear to God, you'd be better if you just changed, because your big your big deal, man, is this. It is because you're a very good golfer with a shitty grip. Well, not a shitty grip, a good grip that doesn't grip. Okay. And so, you know, so there's again that stone's not it's not going to fall out and it's not painful. Until I change direction, it's not painful. I can just feel the club putting pressure onto my hands as I pivot to a finishing form. All right, guys, so let's warm up with that little strike. How far do these balls not fly? And that's a seven iron. Just warm, let these, did it go high, fellas? No, because there's not enough speed to make the ball go up. This is a club that, you know, when I change direction, resist changing direction. What do we call that? Lag. It's lagging behind. I'm not trying to force it, keep it, do any. It's just lagging because it has to. Newton's law, something in motion is going to stay in motion. So as I change direction, it lags, and it's trying to catch up, and it will catch up. But a ball is getting walloped in the middle of that catch-up phase before I put the brakes on. Okay? Who wants the stone? Yarrow. It was, he asked the question, therefore you get the stone, mister. Seems like Gene. Get um, gets placed between cheek and gum. No, <laughs> it gets placed right here, buddy. There. Right there, bud. Perfect. That's it. All right. Yeah. Hey, gang. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Remember, hit the like button. If you're not a member, click subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget, we've got a lot of elevated, awesome content at TS Plus. You can check out that link below.